We are back here on Girl Talk. Yes, we are at Sports Addiction, and I am very quickly becoming addicted. You know, uh, it, it's all about movement. Use it or lose it. And, I, and I, we were yeah. talking about, I had no idea you had so much in the store. Yeah, Talk it's to a me compact about, area. But yeah. well, where are we right now? Well, this is our like our fitness. So we do home and commercial grade fitness equipment. That means for the home and then hotels or anything like that. And then we do pre-owned stuff. We bring in pre-owned stuff that people mm -hmm. use as a coat hanger. And then we, <laughs> I like that. And then well, we, no, we it's sell true. it back out. But we do recumbents like so. This is what and I this want. This is our, probably our number one seller now because it's non-impact. For you know somebody that's lost their balance that can't ride a mm -hmm. bike anymore, this is what you're going to get, and people love it because it's better than the upright bike because you don't strain the back. You're sitting in there, it's super comfortable. Then ellipticals, that's non-impact. Love my, um, love that. Yeah, ellipticals, and then treadmills, obviously. Um, so I have, a, I have to say, I'm surprised by the price point. It seems really doable. Usually, when I think about home equipment like this. It sounds great, but I worry, but oh my gosh, this is amazing. And again, I had no idea you had all of this. Yeah, we've we been actually doing that came for about 17 years. So. Have you really? Yeah. I mean, this yeah. is his area of expertise. And you talk about why you go to a uh, local business person. It's for this kind of information, service, and education. Talk to me again. You're a swimmer now. Right. Well, I'm, you know, that was my deal, you know, triathlon. So we've always had our swimming stuff. So we do everything for swimming, goggles, um, fins, training fins, water aerobics, everything that you can find, you need for swimming, we have. Just for fun, you have to tell them what you're doing. You do open Starting water. Starting to do some open water swims. So that's kind of my deal because I don't, I don't run anymore. So that's uh, my super goal is to do the around Key West. That's oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, I think that'll be fun. Yeah, well, it's not, it's not making my wife or anything. Well, I'm sure you're swimming in the food chain. <laughs> you know, I still do an awful lot of spinning. When I walked in, I had like brain, my brain was like, so much to see. But I like right. to walk over here. You yeah, so, over here. you know, we, we have the softball and, you know, because we have Sun City out here and they have a big softball contingency out here. But yes. our spinning, we do a lot for all the health clubs here. All the ladies and men come in for spinning shoes. You got something that's casual like this for a spinning shoe. This yep. is new and improved I like right there. That. Look at that. It yeah. looks like a regular shoe. It now. does. And so, I, I yeah. love my spinning shoes. So we do all that. We do the cleats. We do, you know, any cleat they need. Um, so, wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Let's do this. Let's run over to the other side of the store real okay. quick because I'm going to look at the pickleball. Okay. Okay, this is it. This is the pickleball department. That's right. I guess you call this the department, yeah. <laughs> I call it the department. All right, talk me through pickleball. You said it's the number one fastest growing sport. It's the fastest growing sport in America. You know, it, um, it's, it's crazy. It, it's, a, it's a combination between basically tennis and badminton is what I say. It's a 10 okay. by 10 court on each side. But, you know, it kind of started out here in Del Webb, but it is blown up like you know rose hill berkeley hall i work well a lot with adolescents all the kids i see love yes pickleball. it's turning into all the schools are having as mm -hmm. curriculum so they're all using it, it what's the equipment that you need how do i be so cool really when I'm what's simple down? about it is you just need a paddle and a ball oh and you know some people use the tennis shoes or tennis for yes tennis, but the that's the beauty of it, the okay. pickle and the ball. Pickle ball, <laughs> pickle ball pickle paddle. Ball. I'll tell you what, you've got absolutely everything in here. And I know we've been talking about swimming, we've been talking about a lot of other sports. Uh, let me ask you about service. Is that something that is an important piece of what you do? It's probably 50% of our store, whether it's it's the bikes, uh, servicing the bikes and bikes repair or the fitness equipment. Can you we know, go walk going... over and take a look? Yeah, so. Yeah, let me do okay. that. Let's do it. This is a huge piece of the store here. Talk to me, if you will, about service. I had no idea. Yeah, so we service uh, used bikes, or, or, or I guess you would call them used bikes here. Mm -hmm. So everybody, everybody has a used bike. Right, yeah. exactly. Kind Once I take it out of the store, it's used. <clears throat> so we do repairs, tune-ups. We do, you know, all the new tires, new tubes, anything that anybody needs, new grips. So there's a lot that goes in. There's a it's probably 50% of our business. Okay, you've got to take me back to the beginning. First of all, I had no idea that I could service a bike or needed to service a bike, number one. And number two, one of the things you all were talking about was um, warranties. And so right. that's something you pride so yourself on. We're, I don't know, I think we're the only people in town that do, we do lifetime tune-ups with our new bike sales. Okay. 
So you buy a bike from us, you get lifetime tune-ups. So that's another reason why not to go online or go to somewhere else that we need lifetime tune-ups. What does a tune-up tune mean is, and why do I need it? So on any bike, you need to keep the wheels true and straight so they don't rub the brakes. So true the wheels, adjust your brakes, adjust your shifting, grease your bottom bracket, headset, grease all your cables so everything's functioning. We have so many bikes that come in that have been outside, they're frozen up, people can't shift them. Need new tires, people riding on bad tires that are going to blow. So, how often, if okay, so if I buy the bike, how often do I need to bring it in for servicing or just to make sure that it's as safe as it can all be? All depends on how much, how long, how much you're riding. You okay. Know? So, but I would say once a year. So, when you buy a new bike for this, you never have to pay that $79 tune up. Can I so, ask a dumb question? I have, um, if I don't have a garage or someplace inside to store my bike, how do you recommend storing cover. a bike? Some kind of cover to go. I always wondered about yeah, that. We sell a lot of those covers. So, yeah, it, you know, without our salt air, and what we yes. have. Yes. So, you know, people living, in, even in Bluffton, they don't understand why they have so much sand and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Well, sand's blowing around everywhere. So, there, a lot of dirt and grit and stuff gets in the chain. So, it's really important to, you know, keep that clean and keep it lubricated. Well, I tell you what, this has been absolutely amazing. I have learned so much. This is like my newfound little gold mine here. It's wonderful. There's Fantastic. so much to see. You all have to come in and see. It's fantastic. Jimbo, thank you. Thank, thank you, you all Appreciate for joining it. us. Yes. Great to see Love you. Stay me. with us. There's more to come here on Girl Talk.